Cecilia Cass finally achieves freedom in the last moments of Lee Huanel's The Invisible Man Elizabeth Moss gives an intense performance as a woman who has been victimized by an abusive boyfriend but has now turned the tables. With her dog at last in tow, she can begin her life as the hero of her own story. Cecilia attained freedom through a final, unexpected twist. After it was revealed that Adrian's brother Tong was allegedly the invisible man who had been haunting and torturing Cecilia to the point of killing her sister Emily and framing Cecilia for the murder, Cecilia went to share a meal with the innocent Adrian. Adrian appears to be a victim as well, locked in his own basement for weeks. So Cecilia returned to Adrian's house of horror, the place she fled in terror a month ago, and agreed to have dinner with her manipulative ex. However, when she walked away from the table to go into the bedroom, Adrian appeared on camera and slit his own throat with a steak knife, committing suicide in the same way Emily was murdered. Cecilia outsmarted Adrian by pretending to have a breakdown and going into the bedroom to clean up. She then came back wearing the invisibility suit she had hidden in the closet earlier. With this, she was able to kill Adrian and get revenge for what he did to her. The power of the ending lies in its ability to communicate the nightmares of abuse survivors through standard genre conventions. The men in C's life don't believe her when she says her boyfriend attacked her. They make excuses for him or say it doesn't seem like something he would do. James eventually believes her because he sees Adrian attack his own daughter. He realizes that the law won't do anything to help her. James is a good ally and helps set up a sting operation where C wears a wire to try and get Adrian to confess. However, C knows that laws designed to protect rich and powerful men like Adrian are not likely to be effective. She hopes the wire will be enough, but she is prepared to kill Adrian herself if necessary. Hence, saying they should eat steak instead of sushi or pasta. The steak knife being on the table naturally and her being recorded on James' wire and on Adrian's camera as she goes to the bathroom creates the perfect alibi while Adrian's throat is slit. She then makes sure she is visible on camera when she calls 911. The patriarchy's records should be satisfied. But after crying for the lens, 